you know, there's different size black holes. Mm -hmm. And maybe can we talk about the experience that you have falling into a black hole, depending on what the size of the black hole is? Yeah. Because um, as I understand, if it, the, 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 <laughs> the bigger it is, the less drastic the experience of falling into it. Yeah, that might surprise people. Yeah. The bigger it is, the less noticeable it is that you've you've crossed the event horizon. One way to think about it is um, curvature is less noticeable the bigger it is. So if I'm standing on a basketball, I'm very aware I'm, I'm balancing on a curved surface. I, my two feet are in different locations, and I really notice. But on the Earth, you actually have to be kind of clever to deduce that the Earth is curved. The bigger the planet, the less you're going to notice the curvature, um, the, the global curvature. And it's the same thing with a black hole, a huge, huge black hole. It just, just kind of feels like just flat. You don't really notice. I'm trying to figure out how the physics, because if you don't notice. And there's nothing there. But the physics is weird. In your frame of reference. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, so another cool thing. So I like to dispel myths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, do you need a minute? <laughs> <laughs> you're holding your head. There's a sense like you, you should be able to know when you're inside of a black hole, when you've crossed the event horizon. Mm. But no, from your frame of reference, you might not be able to know. Yeah, at first, at least, you might not realize what's happened. There are some hints. For instance, black holes are dark from the outside, but they're not necessarily dark on the inside. So this is... Uh, oh a kind of fascinating that your experience could be that it's quite bright mm -hmm. inside the black hole because all the light from the galaxy can be shining in behind you and it's focusing down because you're all approaching this really focused region in the interior. And so you actually see a bright white flash of light as you approach the singularity. Um, you know, I kind of, uh, I joke that it's a, you know, it's like a near-death experience. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. So you, you would see millennia pass on Earth. You could see the evolution of um, the entire galaxy, you know, one big bright flash of light. So it's like a near-death experience, but it's a definitely a total death experience. It goes pretty fast, but you looking out, you looking out, everything's going super fast. Yeah. The clocks... Um, on the Earth, on the space station, seem to be progressing very rapidly relative to yours. The light can catch up to you, and you get this bright beam of light as you th see the evolution of the galaxy unfold. And um, I mean, it sort of depends on the size of the black hole and how long you have to hang around. The bigger the black hole, the longer it takes you to expire in the center. Obviously, the human uh, sensory system are not able to process that information correctly mm -hmm. right it would be a microsecond and a right that would be too fast yeah but it would be wow it would be so cool to get that information but a big black hole you could actually you know hang around for some months 